Here's how to make a moving toy um, out of a uh, plastic bottle, a small plastic bottle. Um, any of these sort of uh, bottles will, will do. You must have the cap. And we're going to make it move using a propeller and we're going to turn the propeller using uh, rubber bands. First thing we need to do is to make some holes in the cap and in the base of the bottle. Um, you need a, a small hole uh, about 3mm diameter in the cap and to do this I've used a small hand drill. Um, depending on the age of the pupils you may have to help them with that hole. Um, you can use a drill to make the hole in the bottom. Just to warn you the plastic is quite thick at the, in, the in the base of these bottles. Um, and it does need to be a larger hole, it needs to be um, 5 or 6 millimetres diameter, um, big enough to allow you to pass the rubber band through. Um, a far easier way of doing it, and obviously I don't let the pupils do this, is to use a, a, a soldering iron. So if you've got access to a soldering iron, it's much easier to make the hole in the bottom of the bottle. Um, if you're only doing one or two, I don't think you need to worry too much about the... Um, any fumes given off, but if you're going to do more than that then make sure that you do it in a well ventilated room. Um, okay, uh, the, the next thing we're going to do is to prepare the uh, propeller and for the propeller shaft we're going to use um, uh, this is about eight centimeters long, this is two millimeter diameter metal rod, it's welding rod, it is available from my shop and this is a nice uh, hammer tap fit into the propeller, it's very tight, the propeller won't come off. It's very important when you tap this on to make sure that that lug that sticks out um, goes on first because that will act as a spacer and stop the propeller from rubbing. So we just tap this on with a small hammer. Oh yes that feels a, a really good fit. We then pass the uh, propeller shaft through the cap, make sure you've got the cap um, the right way around so it can be screwed on the bottle. Very important to remember to put the cap on before you do the next step which is to bend a hook on the end here. Now this metal rod, this 2mm metal rod is um, uh, quite stiff so probably this would have to, the, the pupils would need adult help to do this. So I've got some pin nose pliers here. We bend the hook around like that so that we've got that shape and then put the, the pliers in the other side and bend it back the way it came so that you've got a hook like that. I don't know if you can see that. Next thing we're going to do is to um, thread the uh, rubber bands through. You need to join the two rubber bands together like that. Pull them tight. Get the not quite tight, otherwise it won't go through the hole in the bottom of the bottle. And should be able to get the rubber band through the hole. If you can't make the hole a bit bigger, uh, we could use a, a screwdriver, if I can find one, to gently poke the band through. Try not to damage the band with the screwdriver. And when you've got a few centimetres through, there we are. Um, to get the rest of it through, um, I've made a hook here out of a giant paper clip. When I go to schools, I, I have several of these ready made. I need to get that through a little bit more. There we go. Oh, that's much better. So now I should be able to catch that with the hook. There we are. Pull that through. Now, whatever you do, make sure you don't pull the whole thing through. So I like to put my finger through there. You will need to stretch it quite tight to persuade... There we go. There's the knot has gone through now. And to stop it coming through, we'll just put um, a short length of 4mm dowel through there. Pull it out. So that is now held in place. Uh, because I don't want that stick to fall out, it probably won't, but... I'm going to put some sticky tape on it as well, so that there's no chance of that falling out. Okay, pull the band through, take the hook off, 
Now hook on the propeller shaft hook like that and screw the lid onto the bottle and now you can see um, the rubber band is secured at both ends. We'll just have a little test run. Um, you soon learn how much you can wind these up without the band snap. You can wind them up quite a lot. You're not going to get a great distance out of this moving toy. Air powered things are not all that powerful. I think I can carry on turning it until those twists in the band go all the way across. That feels like a good place, to, good time to stop turning. Whoa. Yes, and I felt the air going back that way, so that's going to create a force that's going to move the vehicle that way. Um, so we've nearly finished, we've just got to make the um, chassis now for the moving toy. We could use a piece of cardboard, I'm going to use a piece of Corex, and we're going to glue that onto the bottle. Um, we've got, you could use sellotape. I'm going to use a glue gun. I've zigzagged the glue across the Corex, and we'll glue that on. There we are. And as usual with my moving vehicles, I'm going to use um, some pieces of jumbo straw as bearings and I'm going to run uh, some axles through. Um, unfortunately we can't glue the straws straight on because um, otherwise the moving toy is not high enough off the ground to allow the propeller to spin round. The propeller is going to bang on the ground. We could try and find some bigger wheels. These are the biggest wheels that, that I have uh, at the moment. So uh, we've got to raise the bearings up. And I'm going to use two pieces of wood here to make some supports for the bearings. I'm going to, this is 8mm by 8mm square section wood. I'm going to glue the two pieces together and then glue them down like that. So I'll just quickly do that. So as I said, um, if you can find some larger diameter wheels, you, you won't have to make these supports. It doesn't take long. There's one. And then the other one. And now I'm going to glue those down to the chassis. One at the front, one at the back. And now I can glue the bearings on, on top. Um, as usual, I always make sure that the bearings, the bits of straw, stick out a bit at each side to stop the wheels from rubbing on the chassis. Let me just put some glue there. I think if I'm very quick, I might be able to do both of them. With low melt glue, you've only got five seconds from when the glue leaves the glue gun to get the two things you're sticking together. There we are, I think I made it. And the last thing we're going to do is to fit the wheels. I've got some um, pieces of 4mm dowel here, which is a, a nice fit in these wheels. I don't need a hammer. And we'll push them on. When you push the wheels on, always leave a small gap so that they spin really well. Air powered toys do not have a lot of force, so you need to make the toy light and as free running as possible. And the final axle goes in and the last wheel on. There we are. And that's our, our vehicle finished. We'll just give it a test run here. Um, I'm turning it clockwise. I think that's what I did before. And hopefully that's going to uh, push air that way to create uh, pressure and it's going to create a force that pushes the vehicle in the other direction. Let's see if I'm right. Yes. Yeah. So I hope you enjoy making these plastic bottle cars.